Hey everybody, Gary here again, and welcome back to a new episode of Tech and Food Reviews. Today, we have a good one for you guys. We are going to be reviewing the Nespresso Virtual Plus Deluxe Coffee and Espresso Machine. Starting with the specs of the Nespresso Machine, it weighs in at just over 10 pounds. The total capacity of the water tank is 37.1 ounces. The dimensions are 8.7 inches wide. 12.7 inches deep and 12.8 inches high. So if you are putting this on your kitchen countertop, make sure that if it does go under your shelving to have enough clearance. When you do open up the device to insert the capsules, um, it does raise it another couple inches, so keep that in mind. The power rating on the machine is 1300 watts. On the back of the machine, it does have a capsule container where it stores all the used capsules. It can store up to 10 capsules at once, so after you're done with that, take the entire thing out, throw it into one of their bags, and you can take it to any Nespresso uh, store or send it in, and they'll recycle it for you. The heat up time of the machine is 20 seconds, so it's very fast. The machine will shut off automatically after 9 minutes of non-use, or you can actually just hold down the capsule open door for three seconds and it'll automatically turn off. To insert the capsules for the coffee, there is a button on the front of the machine. When you push it up, it will actually electronically move up and open the front door. Once it's open completely, you can insert the capsules. Once you're done with that, just push the button again down and it will close the door, puncture the capsule. After the door is completely shut, you hit the button on the top of the machine. It's a single button use. Once you hit it, it'll automatically do its thing. It'll do that 20 second heat up time. And what it's actually gonna do is actually spin the capsule to extract the coffee and spit it out of the front into the cup. <laughs> Okay, so speaking of the capsules, the capsules themselves are very actually unique. Um, they're different than your Keurig K cups. Um, on the bottom of the capsules, there's actually a barcode around the rim. The machine itself will read that barcode and know exactly how much water to use for each one. So for example, if this one here is a coffee cup, this one will have 7.7 .7 fluid ounces. That being said, so there are many different varieties of capsules out there. There's espresso, double espresso, decaf, regular coffee. So it takes all the guesswork out for you. Uh, each capsule will do its thing automatically whichever one you decide. If you want to be more clean about the machine itself, um, make sure you push the front door open again. What it'll do is actually slide the capsule out and into the disposal container on the back of the machine, and then you can just close back up again. At least that'll discard the capsule for you, um, and then you don't have to worry about it until next time. The kit that I got actually included a starter kit for the capsules so I got to try out many different uh, flavors as well as different sizes. Uh, I'm a big fan of medium roast so I kind of geared towards some of these. Uh, the good thing about Nespresso too is that they kind of have a rotating schedule of new coffees that they actually bring for their capsules. They generally will have a lot more options than their standard line. So I highly recommend trying new coffee if you're a coffee enthusiast. But yeah, it's very easy to use. Like I said, um, I haven't had any issues with it at all since I've gotten it. I've owned it for a few months now and it's been working great. Okay, so we are going to take a look at the milk frother now. So this frother is the Nespresso Aerochino 3. It's their third version of their milk frothers. It's got a very modern design, stainless steel, uh, plastic body with a rubber button. Um, the base itself is also plastic and rubber. Going over some of the specs of the frother itself. It is a one button start uh, frother. It's very easy to use. The Aerochino 3 can make hot or cold froth depending on what you're looking for. Uh, if you do want steamed milk though, it is only on the hot version, of course, as you would imagine. So if you do want to froth milk, the maximum amount that you can put in there is four ounces. 
If you want to steam the milk, it is up to eight ounces. Make sure you don't put it past the max line. It can leak at times a little bit here and there if you put too much milk in there. So I highly recommend staying below the max line for sure. So like I mentioned, it's very easy to use. It's only one button. All you have to do is put the milk in there, fill it up to the max line of whether you're frothing or steaming, and then put it back on the base, push the button, it'll turn red, it'll froth or steam the milk. Again, pretty easy to use between the Nespresso coffee machine and the milk frother. Now if you want to do the cold frothing on this, you put the milk in there just like before and put it on the base. But now you're gonna push and hold the button for two seconds, it should turn blue, and then you're set to go. Combined together, there's only two buttons really, there's not a whole lot of different buttons that you need for this. It takes all the guesswork out, it takes all the measurements out, it does everything for you, very easy to use. And those are the specs of the Aerochino 3 Milk Frother. Now as far as pricing goes for the Nespresso Virtual Plus machine, if you are looking to just get the coffee and espresso machine itself without the milk frother, uh, those start at $149.99 and it can get up to $179.99 depending on the color that you decide to choose. Now if you want the kit itself with the milk frother, uh, depending on color again, it does start at $199.99. And it can get up to $229.99. Again, depending on the color that you choose. Now, if you're actually looking for the milk frother itself separately, you can buy it individually without the kit itself. Um, that is going to go for $99. There are a few different colors for that too, so I think they are all $99. There's only a few on those, but they are all the same price. That being said, I have seen the coffee machine itself go as low as about $120 on Amazon. Uh, I've seen the kit itself also go for about $150. Again, this kind of varies depending on color and time of season, um, but I have seen it cheaper on Amazon as well. Now, if you guys do want to pick one up yourself, I will leave a link below in the description uh, to Amazon on a few different options out there. If you do want to check out some of Nespresso's other lines, uh, they do have higher end ones. Um, I will also leave a link in the description below if you do want more information on those. Okay, so the only downside I would say is that the capsules themselves can be a little bit pricey, um, which is where most of these coffee makers make their money is going to be the capsules themselves. So you can pick up the capsules in about 10 packs. Usually they sell three flavors in one, so you get like a 30 pack for roughly about $30 roughly ten dollars for a ten pack roughly depending on your region so that kind of boils down to about a dollar each capsule some are a little bit more expensive some are a little bit less expensive besides that everything else is great I love the machine I use it on a daily basis um, it's my go-to coffee maker if I want something quick and easy I'll pop a capsule in and I'll be set for the day. Okay, before I get to my final thoughts, I just want to mention again that this is not sponsored by Nespresso or Bevel. Uh, I bought this coffee machine myself when I moved a couple months ago. I just needed something that was quick, easy to use, so I decided on this, and here are my thoughts on it. If you're looking for a very easy to use, single serve coffee maker, highly recommend the Nespresso Virtual Plus. Um, it's very easy to use, like I mentioned. One button doesn't make it any easier than that. It's very quick to make the coffee too. Like I said, it takes 20 seconds to heat up and only another minute or so after that to finish brewing. Um, so it's quick and easy to use. The coffee flavors themselves are actually really good. I, I've tried a few already. And with Nespresso's rotating line that they do with their seasonal coffees, it's always good to try out new coffee flavors as well. So that being said, if you do want to pick up one yourself, I, like I said, I will leave links below in the description. You can check out more information about the Nespresso virtual line. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well to get notified of my next new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Now I can enjoy my latte.